Hi, I'm Justin Bender, Portfolio Manager at PWL Capital in Toronto, and this is episode 4 of my Do-It-Yourself Investing series. Today's lesson is on how to build an ETF portfolio at RBC Direct Investing. For example, we'll be purchasing the 5 ETFs from my 40% fixed income, 60% equity model portfolio. Please feel free to download the model portfolios from my blog before getting started. After reviewing our account information, we find that there's $15,000 of cash available for investment within the RSP account. We'll begin by hovering over the Place and Order tab at the top of the screen, and then selecting Stocks and ETFs from the drop-down menu. This will bring us to the Stock Order Entry screen. First, we'll select the Canadian Dollar RSP as our account. Next, we'll select Buy as our action. We'll skip over the number shares for now, and enter VCN in the symbol field. We can also select the Canadian stock market from the drop-down menu and click on Show Quote. This will populate a quote at the top of the screen. When we're buying an ETF, we'll be focusing on the ask price, which is the price per share that an investor is willing to sell the ETF to us for. And to calculate the number of shares that we need to purchase, we'll use our computer's calculator. Multiplying the total account value of $15,000 by VCN's target allocation at 20%, or 0.2, gives us $3,000. We then subtract the trading commission of $9.95 from this amount and divide by the current ask price of the ETF, which is $29.26 in our example. This equals 102 shares. We can just round down to the nearest whole share. Let's go ahead and enter 102 as our number of shares. For the order price, I prefer to select limit as this puts a cap on how much we're willing to pay for the ETF. In the limit price field, enter an amount that's a couple cents higher than the current ask price. Even if you use a higher limit price to place your trade, you'll still receive the lower ask price if it's available. By selecting Good Through Day, your order will expire by the end of the trading day if it goes unfilled. The special instruction should automatically default to any part. If this is your first trade at RBC, you may be required to enter your phone number before moving ahead. We can then click on Continue to move to the Trade Confirmation screen. Once you've reviewed the order details and verified that the estimated cost is approximately the dollar amount that you'd like to purchase, you can click on Confirm. And to place your next trade, hover over the Place an Order tab at the top of the screen and then click on Stocks and ETFs. For the next trade, we'll select the Canadian Dollar RSP account and then choose Buy as our action. We'll enter VUN as our symbol and select Canadian as our market. We'll then click on Show Quote. We'll multiply our total account value of $15,000 by 20%, subtract the $9.95 commission, and divide this value by the current ask price of $39.61, which equals 75 shares. We can then enter 75 as our number of shares. We'll enter a limit price that's a couple cents above the current ask price, and then click on Continue. After verifying the order details, we'll click on Confirm. We can then return to the Stock Order Entry screen. For the next trade, we'll select the Canadian Dollar RSP account and then choose Buy as our action. We'll enter XEF as our symbol and select Canadian as our market. We'll then click on Show Quote. We'll multiply our total account value of $15,000 by 16%, subtract the $9.95 commission, and divide this value by the current ask price of $26.70, which equals 89 shares. We can then enter 89 as our number of shares. We'll enter a limit price that's a couple cents above the current ask price, and then click on Continue. And after verifying the order details, we'll click on Confirm. We can then return to the Stock Order Entry screen. For the next trade, we'll select the Canadian Dollar RSP account, and then choose Buy as our action. We'll enter XEC as our symbol, and select Canadian as our market. We'll then click on Show Quote. We'll multiply our total account value of $15,000 by 4%, subtract the $9.95 commission, and divide this value by the current ask price of $23.38, which equals 25 shares. We can then enter 25 as our number of shares. We'll enter a limit price that's a couple cents above the current ask price, and then click on Continue. After verifying the order details, we'll click on Confirm. We can then return to the Stock Order Entry screen. For our final trade, we'll try to use up as much of the remaining cash as possible. We'll once again select the Canadian Dollar RSP account, and then choose Buy as our action. We'll enter VAB as our symbol and select Canadian as our market. We'll then click on Show Quote. We'll take our remaining cash balance of $6,044.13 and subtract the $9.95 commission. We'll then divide this amount by the current ask price of $26.48, which equals 227 shares. 
We can then enter 227 as our number of shares. This time, we'll actually enter a limit price that is the exact same as the current ask price. We want to try to use up as much of the available cash while ensuring that we don't place the account into a debit position. We can then click on continue. After verifying the order details, we'll click on confirm. Now that the final trade has been placed, we can verify the order details by clicking on view order status. Here we'll find that all shares from the five ETF purchases have been successfully filled. If you'd like to review your new portfolio holdings, hover over the My Portfolio heading and then click on the My Portfolio Holdings subheading. Here we'll find that we now have about $3,000 of our portfolio in Canadian stocks, $3,000 in US stocks, $2,400 in international stocks, $600 in emerging market stocks, and $6,000 in Canadian bonds. If you have any questions, please feel free to send them to me via email, jbender at pwlcapital.com.